This year marks the 80th anniversary of the birth of one of the world's favourite mysteries, the Loch Ness Monster. To find out more, we went to Scotland and met with naturalist Adrian Shine. He is the leader of the Loch Ness Project, and he has been studying this phenomenon and related subjects ever since returning from India and the hippie trail at the start of the 1970s. We asked him about the events of 80 years ago. The modern sensation began, believe it or not, right here at the Loch Ness Centre with Mrs Mackay, manageress of the Drumnod Rocket Hotel, which is what it then was, in 1933, which is 80 years ago this year. And she was being driven back from Inverness by her husband and saw something similar to a whale, she thought. She tried to keep it secret, but her husband dropped her in it with the local water bailiff who was a newspaper correspondent for the Inverness Courier. The rest is history. But it's quite appropriate, I think, that however suspicious it sounds, Mrs Mackay's hotel is now the Loch Ness Centre. And, says Adrian Shine, the atmosphere of the time was conducive to believing strange things. It was a time of industrial depression. The world was going to have a much worse time before the end of the 30s. And there was a certain frivolity about things, I think. But also... We see the beginnings of the association of Loch Ness monsters with plesiosaurs, which were a Jurassic reptile contemporary with the dinosaurs, though not a dinosaur, but it had a long neck. And that resulted from a sighting on the southern shore of the loch by an English couple called the Spicers, who saw this great long neck wiggling across the road, allegedly. That's all it took, though, to actually associate Loch Ness monsters with plesiosaurs and hence Jurassic Park and that I think accounts for the worldwide sensation and interest because we just love prehistoric monsters don't we Adrian Schein has never seen the Loch Ness Monster nor does he think that it actually exists he says that the more famous photos were fakes but he does admit that many of the sightings were honest I don't think Loch Ness is Jurassic Park I think there are some very special things about the Loch which have proved interesting in their own right And I think that amongst some of the illusions, some creatures, unusual to Loch Ness, though not necessarily new to science, might have caused some of the sightings.